chapter focuses on evidence-based policing. Um, this is the idea that police practices should be based on scientific evidence about effectiveness. In the chapter, we discuss things like hotspots policing, the idea that police focus attention on really small units of geography that have high levels of crime, and they could have impacts there when they really focus their attention. Uh, another effective approach, problem-oriented policing, um, getting police to really think deeply about why a problem exists, and then tailoring a response that develops out of analyzing that problem. Learning about crime policy and social policy in general, we know that lots of policies are based more on hunches or anecdotes or response to some crisis uh, rather than scientific evidence. And so I wanted to think about ways that we could better integrate science. And it's not to say those hunches or anecdotes are wrong, but it's important to actually test them and understand what works and what's most effective. So I think the key takeaway here is that policing uh, can have impacts on crime. We go back 25 years ago, the thought was that nothing works in policing and criminal justice more generally. Uh, and we have a very different view today and that the police can be effective uh, and they can use scientific evidence to guide practice. And so when police are more focused, when they're more proactive, when they're more place-based, they can have impacts on crime, uh, which can make communities safer and make police agencies more efficient.